Do you want to have a Twitch countdown like this? Do you want to program your do-it-yourself solution instead of relying on Streamlabs or Stream Elements? You will learn exactly how to program a Twitch countdown in C-Sharp and how to use it in OBS. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years experience on the .NET platform. If you want to learn more about software development and become a better developer, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And now, let's jump right into today's video where we want to program a countdown for Twitch. Today's program consists of two parts. First, we need to write a program that provides a countdown. Next, we need to integrate the countdown in OBS, the streaming tool of my choice. OBS can read files and display its content on the screen. We will use this interface for our solution. We'll write a C-sharp program that writes the time left on the countdown into a file and updates the file every second. Let's take a look at the code. You can see my .NET console project containing two source code files. We'll take a look at the program class first. In the main method, we get input on how many seconds the duration of the countdown should be. If we want a 3 minutes countdown, we provide 180 seconds as an argument to the program. We need to read the argument and convert it into an integer. Next, we split the countdown from seconds, for example 180, into hours, minutes and seconds. We now sleep for 990 milliseconds, write the countdown as a formatted string to a file and reduce the countdown by one tick. The 990 millisecond sleep is not the best solution, but it's a simple solution that works for me. There are more sophisticated solutions if you desire a perfect implementation, such as using third-party libraries. Now, let's take a look at the countdown duration class. We have three properties containing the remaining time of the countdown. The tick method, which reduces the countdown by a single second, and we also have the get output method, which creates a formatted output string and the parse method, which splits the input seconds into hours, minutes and seconds. That's it, the two classes are enough to create a countdown and write the remaining time into a file. This code is by no means perfect, but it shows how simple it is to create a .NET Core console application that solves a real-world problem. Let's integrate our countdown program into OBS. As I said in the introduction of the video, OBS is able to put file content onto the screen. And the best thing is that it also automatically detects if a file has changed and updates the content on the screen for us. Let's take a look at how we need to set up OBS. First of all, you'll need some kind of background image. I already put my example image into OBS as an image source. Next, we need to put the file content of the countdown to the screen. We create a new text source and check the read from file checkbox. This allows us to browse for our countdown.txt file, which is written by our program. That's all the magic we need in OBS. Now let's start the program from a console to see if everything works as expected. We use 150 seconds as an input argument and execute our OBS countdown program using the .NET command. And as you can see, it works! In this video, We've learned how to program a .NET Core console application that solves a real-world problem by providing a countdown for Twitch streaming using OBS. You'll find a link in the video description where you can download the source code. If you want to learn more about c -sharp programming or software development in general, consider to subscribe to my channel and enable notifications to make sure you won't miss my future videos. See you in the next!